All right, it's uh, it's Saturday, it's early, and uh, I'm going to do something today that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm gonna pick up a Suzuki RM125 1986. I've wanted a RM from the 80s in my back in my life for the longest time, and today I get to do that. Time to get this trailer cleaned out. All right, here we are, other side of the Bay Bridge Tunnel. Um, my friend's coming out of uh, Berlin, Maryland to do this for me, and can't wait to pick this bike up, man. It's gonna be awesome. Getting started soon. Dreams to reality. Not quite the uh, 86 or 125, but um, it's in the Suzuki family. I decided to put it together to see what I'm working with, what it needs, what's broken, what's stripped, what bolts are missing, etc. Coming together, overall looks pretty good. I decided to start with the front end and work my way through. And if you can imagine, the front wheel was in worse shape than the rear wheel. So let's show you what it looks like now with a little steel wool and some elbow grease. The shine coming back. So there's today's update on the 1987, which I thought was a 1986, was being sold as an 86. Suzuki RM125. I've decided to get some new plastics. I also purchased a tank yesterday off eBay for the whopping $35 that does not have paint on it. Also has a, a really good cap, as you can see. This one's broken. And uh, we'll again, we'll hit it with some 400 sandpaper and some 1200 and hit it on the polishing wheel and bring the original shine back. I ordered a new rear fender, a new front fender from UFO. Uh, the side plates are not as easily found. So again, these do have paint on them. I'm gonna go through that painstaking chore of sanding all this stuff off. Try to get down to the original plastic and polish them back to new. Same thing with the uh, rad guards. Rad guards are, I believe, are not as easily found. Um, but they do have paint on them too. You can see that the original plastic shining through. 